Today is September 4th, and it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm kind of getting a late start. I can't remember if I actually uh, recorded any video yesterday. Um, but I am at, in the Chateau Trace Through Hikers Manual, which is an old one before they did the 323 mile uh, extension. I'm at mile 105.13. There's a large camp spot at the end of a suspension bridge. And I stayed here. Got ate up by the mosquitoes. Um, but only until the sun went down. So, uh, I'm actually about five or six miles ahead of where I wanted to be at for this morning. So, I was going to camp at 115, mile 115. But I think there's another camp at mile 120. So if I can make it to 115 by 2 o'clock or so, I'll probably go ahead and try for 120. Um, 115 is where I originally planned to stay. Um, my mileage has been still kind of low. Um, I've got a really light pack weight. But uh, my legs are pretty sore this morning, so... I'm going to stop at the uh, resupply point on I-75. I don't really need anything, but I stink. And I hear they have free showers there. So that's my plans for today. And also you'll notice that uh, this second half of the Chitali Trace, my videos have been somewhat shorter. I found that I was really just wasting so much time last year recording and taking pictures that I was really... Uh, not not getting a lot of miles in so I'm trying something new this year So probably be the last update unless something really cool pops up along the trail Today is uh, September 4th, and yesterday was about 50-50 trails and forest service roads. And uh, so far, the first half of today has been the same way. The uh, nice thing about that is it gives you the opportunity to stop eating spider webs for the most part um, I'm gonna go over some hiker tricks uh, in an upcoming video and a way to reduce the amount of spider webs that you eat will be included in that but uh, I just wanted to update on the conditions. So I'm going to be stopping uh, at the resupply point on I-75. And uh, I kind of hope that they're open today. I guess today is Monday, technically a holiday, but we'll see. So that's all. You hear that? That is the sound of spur oil. Um, I started hiking at a few minutes after 9. It's 12.06. So uh, I made 5 miles in 3 hours and I took two 15 minute breaks along the way. Now this place is supposed to be a light resupply point and also have free showers. Which I need about 4 free showers right now so I'll update later. Well, I got there and all of the showers were occupied. So I grabbed some water. Figured I'm gonna stink for the next several days anyway, so oh well. Here at I-75. So I'm on US-25 now. And uh, basically from the time you leave the Spur Oil Company, uh, 
for, I don't know, about a mile. I didn't look at the trail guide, but you're walking on asphalt, asphalt roads. And uh, this little short walk at midday sun really has me dreading the 14 or so miles road walk coming up in a few days. Um, wow. You know, I'll have a light pack with food-wise because that'll be my resupply day. But, but I might have to carry extra water. So, kind of sucks. Um, I don't know. I may, uh, maybe think about night hiking it. Might be the best best thing to do is night hike it. I don't know what them steps go to. Oh well. Just my thoughts. Trail magic from uh, Fred Pennington. Much appreciated. He stopped in a truck. Talked to me. About hiking the trail he's a hiker too so awesome thanks Fred I went to go get some water and run into this little snake right here just a baby tell what it is. It's got uh, three black dots on its head, two black stripes down its back. I stopped at this uh, bridge to uh, get some water and I went ahead and ate the two snacks that my uh, buddy gave to me. Annie's Bunny Fruit Snacks Summer Strawberry. Those are awesome. I've never had them before. Really good. Laura Bar Cherry Pie. That was also really good and I've never had them either. So uh, thanks for the hookup and uh, they were really delicious. They definitely hit the spot and uh, I will definitely have to look these companies up and order them. I am at Camp Wildcat Battlefield Memorial. I uh, actually went down and spent about 30 minutes under the pavilion there and used the restroom, but 
I'm out of water and the next water source is about a quarter mile down the road and then that is the next water source for uh, five miles so I originally intended to camp about a mile away and it's only 4 p.m. So I'm going to try to make it to the next spot, um, which is at 120.13. Uh, so that's roughly about 14, about five and a half miles. I'll reevaluate when I get to the original place because my legs are pretty tired from all this road walking today. But if I've got it in me when I get to the next camp spot, uh, I might just go ahead, might have to night hike a little bit, J just depends on how I feel in about another mile. So I'll update then. So I'm not going to joke, this is Robinson Spring water source, <laughs> and uh, you can see a bottle cap there, lid, for how big, but it just so happens to be that my smart water bottle actually fit in the larger hole, and I was able to fill it up, so <laughs> I'm going to drink about 20 ounces here and take 20 ounces with me and pour the rest out. Well, I made a boo-boo after getting water. I was supposed to go back to the Wildcat Memorial. It clearly says, go right on the trail. And somehow I overlooked that and thought that the Chateau Trace just went on down the gravel road. So now I've got to backtrack probably about a half a mile. So pay attention to the trail notes there was no markings uh, so there you go don't miss this sign at the Wildcat Memorial Literally, today has all been forest service roads, highways, and gravel roads. I'm at, uh, oh, by the time that I get to camp, I will have done 15 miles, actual trail miles, but I would have done mile and a half of accident miles where I forgot to turn right at the uh, at the memorial so I probably went three quarters of a mile down the road man it's a uh, 541 right now it gets dark around uh, 738 probably closer to 8 uh. I'll update when I get to camp. I am just pooped. Well, this is a slight change. I was going to camp 
at uh, Rock Shutter 120.13 in a through hiker book, but I couldn't find it. So now I'm trying to make it to, I think it's KY490. Yeah, KY490, which you probably can't see it in the video. Up here to the right, looks like a clearing, like where a road might be. Um, I've got a headlamp on, night hiking, and I don't think the camera's picking it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off.